Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Okay, so today please excuse the bra. I don't, I can't find a black bra. Well, y'all start coming for me for my chest. Okay, it's, it's the bra that fits and it's holding everything in. It's, my chest ain't going away. It ain't gonna pop out. So let y'all know. So today I am going to be making stuffed salmon, garlic mashed potatoes, and green beans. I think, or broccoli. Whichever one, however I feel by the end of the video. Okay, so I am somebody who does, does who does not like salmon, but I want to make it anyway, because I want to see if I could be one of those people that can make some really good salmon and it tastes kind of not like salmon. Okay, so I said I'm gonna do it anyway. I saw this recipe of the stuffed salmon on TikTok and I was like, I gotta try it because it looks so freaking good. I do not like salmon, but we're gonna try it anyway. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do the stuffed part. So as you can see over here, I'm gonna show you in a few minutes. I got all my ingredients over there. I really don't feel like traveling with the camera, so we're just gonna skip showing out all the ingredients. I mean, y'all see it in a minute, okay? Uh, so I had to put on my glasses so I can see what I'm doing. So pull this down. Okay, so we have our cream cheese. The spinach is cooking down. I know y'all wondering what, okay, I'm gonna have to talk, cause they ain't gonna hear me. So I'm gonna have to talk, do a voiceover. Okay, so I have to do a voiceover on this part because the fan over the stove was on and you guys weren't gonna hear me. But um, I'm getting ready to take the uh, um, cream cheese and put it in the bowl. I'm having the spinach cooked down. I know y'all want to see me like actually put the stuff in the pan, all, uh, all that other good stuff over the stove. But I have my ring light, excuse me, stationized this time. Like I have the cord in the back so I can't really move it around too much. So you'll see me trying to like bring the pan over to the camera, season it in front of y'all, and then go back and put it on the stove. So it's going to be a lot of moving around. Okay, so as you can see, I've added um, black pepper, Old Bay, onion powder, garlic powder, and did I, add, I don't think I added salt. I don't know. I don't even remember if I did. I think I did, but I think I added a little bit. And, uh, you know, I mixed it up. This is the actual stuffing that's going inside of the salmon. Now, keep in mind, I'm going to tell y'all ahead of time, those pieces of salmon were so small and they were thin. And they were hard to take the little skin part off. That thing made me so doggone mad. Oh, and I also added uh, Parmesan cheese. Um, that thing, no, it made me so doggone mad. But what I did was, since they were so thin, I took the little skin off. And then I put two pieces of salmon together and made, like, a little sandwich out of it. Instead of, because, you know, what I what you're really supposed to do is, like, make a slit in the salmon. And then stuff the, um, the actual filling inside of it. But since mine were thin and were kind of breaking apart when I was trying to take the skin off... I just put them together but it still turned out really really good um yep so I was, i'm gonna keep stirring it up it was kind of hard to stir that uh cream cheese up but y'all the whole meal turned out so i don't care what nobody say i ate let me tell you something i threw down on it it was so good and let me tell y'all something i don't even like salmon i i do not even like because to me it's such a dry fish but the way i cooked it 
it was really good okay. it was real good okay so i'm gonna put that to the side and then i am going to let me see what i'm gonna do because okay okay now i'm gonna go ahead and open up my salmon Okay, so as you can see, what I've already got my filling ready and I peeled all of my salmon. Now, you see how thin the durian salmon is. So, I'm taking the uh, two pieces of salmon, putting them together, and putting the filling in the middle. Then I'm putting it in the pan. Uh, in the pan. <laughs> then I am putting it in the pan. I already put some vegetable oil in the bottom of my pan, so it's going to fry a little bit. And I seasoned the salmon after I put it in the pan. I know you're wondering, like, well, why didn't you season the salmon first and then fill it up? Well, I seasoned it while it was in the pan because that's the way the guy did it in the video. So, <laughs> I just did it the exact same way. But, um, yeah, after I seasoned it, I let it sit. I let it fry for a little bit on the stove while I worked on my potatoes. And then I went back to it and then I took it off the stove and I put it into another pan. And then I baked it for seven minutes because that's how long the guy said he did it for seven minutes. Mm -hmm. And then um, I went ahead and made my little um, cream sauce to go with it. Okay, so now I'm showing you what how it looked like in the pan before it starts to uh, really cook up. I think it's already started frying on the other side. So now I am going to only season one side, in which it which is completely fine because I'm going to flip it over anyway in the pan while it's cooking. So and I did not season the other side. I really didn't need to because it's so much seasoning and flavors going on. So I really didn't need to season the other side. But I'm going to show you all the seasons. I'm going to add to it.
Okay. We got a can opener now. I don't know. Okay. So now I'm going to go ahead and start on my green beans. I decided to cook green beans with it. Um, tell me what I don't pull half the darn bottle of the uh, crushed red peppers in there. So I had to scoop that out and then throw it in the trash. But the green beans turned out really, really good, though. So it don't even matter. But, um, yeah. I need you to taste my food on camera later when I'm doing it. Oh my God. Okay, so now I'm doing my potatoes. Um, I forgot I um had this doggone thing. I'm like, well, why you never use it? I saw it in the drawer and I said, well, let me use it today. So it really did help. Um, this time I decided to leave the skin on my potatoes. I've actually eaten eaten it like this before. I used to always eat like this when I worked at the hotel. That's how they made they mashed potatoes. They left the skin on them. And it's really good. It tastes the same. And honestly, when you eat them, you can't even taste the skin. At least when I made it. So it was good. Um, and I used a little, I used the not really little, but I used the small red potatoes. I like those better. Excuse me, y'all. I'm good and sleep. I'm in my bed right now under the covers um, doing this voiceover. So I'm getting ready to go to bed. I just had to do this before I, um, I shut my eyes. I had a couple of lumps in it that act like it didn't want to, you know, you know, go down. But other than that, most of the part, mo uh, no, most of the part, but most of the potatoes were soft. It was just, I had a real, I had one big potato in there and that one needed a little extra oomph in it. The rest of the other ones had no problem smushing down.
Okay, this is the original pan that the salmon was in. I transferred the salmon to another pan and baked it. Now, I'm using that same seasoned pan that the salmon was in. I drained some diced tomatoes, took the tomatoes out and put it in the pan. Um, now, I'm going to add some. I needed he 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 heavy whipping cream, but I didn't have any, so I had to use milk. Um, I added the spinach. I added the milk. Because, I mean, that's the way the guy did it. <laughs> He had the little um, oval-shaped tomatoes. He had the bougie way, honey. I had to do it the better way. But it still turned out to taste really good. And I'm kind of seasoning it up just a little bit more. Because um, a lot of, not a lot, but some of the flavor and seasoning is kind of gone out of it. Since the salmon has been transferred to another pan. So I just added a little more seasoning. But y'all, it was, I wish y'all could have tasted it. You yeah, tasted? Did you taste any of the stuff part, the cream cheese? Yeah. Oh, you tasted that too? Good. Okay. Yeah. Look at my plate, y'all. I did the damn thing. That right. thing was so good. <laughs> What is what? Where is this here? Salmon. Okay, what else? Garlic mashed potatoes and green beans. Okay. You need to sit up. Cause I see you that I see that plate leaning. Man, I'm not gonna get nothing on these white sheets. You have before. And just like you have before. It is my bad. So, and it wasn't like it was on purpose. So, Eight to four. <laughs> Is it still cold? <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> okay, hold on, hold on. <laughs> take a take a, a spoon, a forkful of the salmon, green beans, and the mashed potatoes. No, just eat the mashed potatoes first. Uh, mm -mm. Yeah, the most important part is the salmon. You taste the stuff part, yeah. the cream cheese. Spicy. That's the green beans you taste.
Good luck. One through ten. It was a ten to me. Probably, I'm, I probably because I ate it fresh. I need a That's your honest answer. <laughs> I'm not going to record you the whole time. <laughs> I'm just watching your actual reaction when you take breaks. <laughs> 